Hey everyone, here's a quick look at the incredibly useful Space Between utilities added to Tailwind since version 1.3. Let's take this illustration of a quite common scenario where you have a list of things and you want consistent spacing between them. In early versions of Tailwind, for a situation like that, you would typically add a margin left to every element except the first one, since you want to keep the alignment with the heading there. If you wanted to change the spacing or make it behave differently at a specific breakpoint, you had to specify it in every child except the first one. This is where the space between utilities come handy. I will remove all these margin left classes on the children and on the parent I will add space x6 and lg space x12. This will apply a margin left to all but the first direct children essentially recreating what we had before, but we've now relayed the spacing concerns to the parent element. You can also apply negative spacing to achieve some overlapping effect. Let me quickly turn down the opacity of these elements and give them different colors, and I will change the spacing class to negative space x6. That's pretty neat. Okay, let's undo these changes. In some cases, you may have your elements listed in reverse order. Let's add the flex row reverse class here and look at what happens now. We still have a margin left applied to every element but the first one, which is not what we want here. Thankfully, there is a space x reverse class for this specific scenario. Adding that class to the parent will flip the margin on the right side of the elements and achieve what we need. The same idea applies to vertical lists. Let's remove our spacing classes and change the flex direction to flex call. Instead of applying a margin top to all but the first children elements, we can give the parent a class of space y and we'll go with 6 again. And a margin top will be applied to the second child elements and the ones that follow. Again, if we reverse the flex direction with flex call reverse, we need to also invert the spacing with space y reverse. Finally, a couple of gotchas you need to know about spacing utilities, as these will likely trip you over at some point. Let's quickly go back to a horizontal spread. So the first one is, you cannot override spacing on the child element directly. If I try add ML20 on the last child, nothing happens. This is because the margin applied from the parent element is higher in specificity and therefore takes precedence. I'll change the spacing here from 6 to 20, which will create a big gap between each element, but then we can wrap these three elements together in a div, so essentially they become one child for the spacing utility above and we'll give the space x6 class to that one to handle the spacing within the three elements. It also needs a flex class in this specific scenario. Let's check it. And now we have two nested space between elements. One that applies level 6 spacing between the first three elements, and one that applies level 20 spacing between that group of three and the last element. Okay, let's undo this. And the other thing I wanted you to know is Spacing utilities do not work well when your elements are wrapping on multiple lines. If I add a flex wrap class here and add a bunch of children elements, you'll see that we have a problem. The first element of each new row is offset. Our space between utility applies a margin to every child and that includes the first element of new rows. If I apply a space y6 class to try handle the vertical spacing, the same happens again you can see the very first element is the only one who doesn't have margins. This right there is a major reason why many people are eagerly waiting on the Flexbox gap property to be supported across browsers, as it will greatly simplify internal spacing between Flex children. For now, one workaround in this situation is to forget about spacing utilities and handle the spacing on the children elements. This is not great, as now our grid is visually not aligned with the edges of the container, so you need to apply a somewhat hacky negative margin on the parent, which can sometimes lead to strange behaviors. So, keep that in mind, only use space between utilities on elements that do not wrap on multiple lines. 